Why would anybody want to run big bulky connectors on their FPV drone motor? They're heavy. They don't look good. These are all things that I've heard before. However, I'm here today to talk about when is the right time to have connectors on your drone. Maybe not for all drones, but for some drones and some pilots in certain places, these can be life-saving. More and more manufacturers are starting to come out with motors that have these pre-installed MR30s, meaning you can swap between different types of motors in just a few minutes, no soldering required. You can break a motor in the field, replace it there, and we're gonna hop inside and talk a little bit about the pros and cons of running MR30 connectors on your motors. So let's get into it. The first big question a lot of people ask is what is the true weight difference between a motor with an MR30 and without an MR30? So, we've got two boxes here. For those who don't know, 523 just brought back the four pack of heads up motors that are coming in these nice fancy boxes, but that's beside the point. We have one with the MR30 connector pre-installed and pre-soldered on there. And then the other, I grabbed the wrong box, one second. And the other comes with no MR30 in your typical amount of wire. So let's go into the MR30 box and grab our little adapters. This is the adapter that would you would solder onto your ESC of choice, but of course it would plug into your motor and we'll do the full length of wire just for the sake of weighing the two motors. Our 2207-1960 KV heads up motor with MR30 and full length wire weighs 34.89 grams. And with approximately the same amount of wire, just with no MR30 connector, you're looking at 32.94 grams. So, I'm really bad at math, but I'm going to put the weight difference up there on the screen because of course, when there is a weight difference on motors, that is multiplied by four. So 1.5 gram difference, which I saw roughly, now turns in to six. But is six grams really the end of the world? For some people it is, and that's totally okay. Do you see me or any top racers running MR30 motors on their drones? Not usually. However, most people in my opinion probably should because when they're at a race and they have a limited amount of drones, so say instead of a top racer who has 10 drones at a race and they can just swap to a drone, another drone after they break a motor or bend a bell or anything of the sort, you only have two or you only have three. So get another motor out of the bag and plug it in. It, it can be plugged into any corner because the motor side is wired the same and it, all that matters is the connector to ESC side, if that makes any sense. And it's done with just two to three screws or four screws, however many you use to put on your motor. Say you're at a bando, flying in an abandoned building. You crash with your friends, you don't have a soldering iron, or it takes too much time, or you're not very good at soldering in the field. You forgot your soldering iron, by all means. You don't need one with MR30s. You just unscrew the motor, unplug it, plug in a new one, keep one or two on hand as spare, and then your broken ones that just have a burnt or a broken bell or something, you can take those home, repair them, and then now those are your backup motors. So I really do see those as a lot of benefits. As far as price goes, it's just a $1 difference between MR30 and non-MR30, so if that's the end of the world to you, then I think you might be in the wrong hobby, but it is something to keep in mind. And additionally, a really cool thing is that more and more motors are starting to come with MR30s pre-installed, so you can switch from a 533-1960 KV motor to maybe a Rotor Riot Vanover motor or other motors that Rotor Riot offers. It's really cool that it gives you that ability to change motors quickly, and then you can essentially change the flavor, the style of the drone in minutes with no soldering required as another perk for MR30s. However, due to all of those seemingly good arguments, in my opinion, the MR30 motors really haven't caught on and from Rotor Riot or from 533 or really anywhere. But I just wanted to make this video to kind of reiterate what the connector's benefits are and that it's not for your top level super light racers. It's for your everyday pilots, your average guys out of the field who just want to fly. You don't, I, at least me, when I'm out, I mean, when I'm out racing seriously, of course, I'm going to do whatever I can to have the best performing drone. But when I just want to fly, that's what I want to do. So when you look at my freestyle quads or maybe my practice racing quads, they're going to have MR30s on them because when I'm at the field and I break something, when so-and-so, Jeffrey over here, is soldering up a new motor and trying to get the direction right and hoping that he did the correct direction and doesn't have to go into BLHeli to change anything, I just unplug the MR30 and plug in a new one. So, whenever you're building your next freestyle quad or practice quad and you're thinking about going between connectors and no connectors, just think about it. It doesn't mean all your drones have to be that way. 
but it could make your drone experience a little bit better. So we're gonna put these motors on a quad and to end the video, I am going to change a motor on a friend's freestyle drone and maybe you sitting at home can replace one of the motors on your drone and solder it and tell me how many tools it takes you to use and how many times you burn yourself and how risky it is the components on your drone and if you think you could do that in the middle of a bando with no soldering iron, okay? I'm just kidding. But I just wanna do a quick little demonstration. I'll probably put it on like two or three times speed. The only tool I'm going to use is a two mil. I'll unwrap the electrical tape, unplug the MR30, bolt the new motor on, plug it in, and it's gonna spin the right direction. It's gonna be the same motor and it's gonna be easy. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a rant, honestly, about why I think MR30 connectors are absolutely viable for most FPV pilots. And let me know how much you disagree with me and I can't wait to argue with you in the comments. But that's okay. I'll see you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and have a good weekend of flying. And when you're soldering up a new motor to your drone, just think about me, okay? <laughs> see you guys, bye.